Hey guys, welcome to our tip number 69. And today I'm gonna to cover my top nine R packages in the R ecosystem. This is a perfect one if you're a beginner or an expert, cause you're gonna learn some stuff. You're gonna learn what I use a lot. And I have a bonus at the end, um, actually two bonuses at the end. So stick around, I have a shiny app I'm gonna show you how to make. And I'm going on top of that, I'm going to give you the opportunity to check out a free R masterclass. Uh, it's 40 minutes and it covers a ton of great stuff. So stick around to the end. I'm going to give you the details on both of those. Okay, so let's dive into it. The first thing you need to do is if you want all of this code that I'm showing you, uh, sign up for the weekly R tips. It's a newsletter that I run and I send you the code each week. And it also gives you access to the GitHub repo where you can download this and you can download, uh, what do I have? 69 of these now. So there's 69 R tips that you get access to and it's free. So sign up, uh, details are in the video notes. Uh, first pack, this is the tidyverse. And what this does is it's a, what's called a meta package and it loads all the packages or a bunch of the packages that I'm gonna actually be talking about in my list here. Uh, it loads dplyr, ggplot2, tidier. Um, you don't really need to do anything with it. The only thing you need to know is if you hit control and enter, what it's gonna do is it's gonna load in uh, a lot of these libraries that I'm gonna do. It just, it just helps make, uh, get, you know, make your code a little bit more concise and get things done faster. All right, number two is dplyr. I think you should know dplyr. It is an 80-20 tool. I use it all the time. So here's how to use it. If we make a data frame, so let's just make some sales data here. Uh, I've got a little tibble down here of product sales, okay? And maybe what I wanna do is I wanna group by some products and I wanna figure out what the total sales are. Well, I can do that with dplyr. Here's how I do it. Just run this code. You do a group by and a summarize. It creates a new column called time called total sales and we're getting it by each of the products that easy all right the third package in my list here today guys is ggplot2 i think you should know ggplot2 because it makes publication quality visualizations so let's check it out so this is going to be um just a, a little sales data say we've got some month and we've got some revenue that we want to analyze and we want to make maybe a bar chart so here's how easy it is to do you just do three lines of code you create the ggplot which creates your base image. And this is what I call the canvas. Um, and you're assigning the month and revenue to the X and Y axes. Now it doesn't have anything in there yet. You need to add what's called a geom. So we're gonna do geom bar. And what we're gonna do is create some columns. And then the third thing I'm gonna do here is add some labels. So you basically like build your plot up and, and this adds the title in here and bada bing bada boom, we've got our, uh, our labels here. Uh, the next one, fourth package is tidy r so tidy r what it does is it allows us to use cool functions like pivot longer and pivot wider so we're going to be if you're familiar in excel with uh things like pivot tables this is kind of how you pivot data so let's make some uh fake data here uh this is going to be some products and it's going to be actually in what's called a wide format wide format is good for a table like if you're presenting to say an executive but when you do data analysis, especially in the tidyverse, you need to create long data. So if you pulled this in from Excel, say, uh, what we might wanna do is create long data and here's how you would do it. You just use this function called pivot longer and there you go. We now have by date uh, each of the products and each of the values and if we wanted to like visualize it or something like that, uh, we'd then be able to do that with ggplot2. Um, all right, fifth one, and this is a package that I've actually created. It's a superpower if you are interested in working with time series. So let's check out a time series. It's called time TK. Um, and the uh, data that I'm gonna work with is this FANG data that comes with time TK. You got a bunch of symbols. Um, this is some stock data. And what we're gonna do is just quickly visualize it. So check this out. Um, I'm gonna group on the symbol column and then we're gonna look at the date versus the adjusted. So this is gonna use a plot time series function and it's group aware. So we know that we're grouping on the symbol and here we go. We've got now over here, this thing called a Trelloscope plot. So this is cool. It's an interactive plotly visualization in this thing called Trelloscope. And if I uh, mess around with this, now I can visualize all of my time series at once. I've got my Amazon, Facebook, Google, Netflix, and so on. The next one, sixth one is Read R. So Reader is a package for reading data. So if we have say like in our file system here, um, I've got in my top R, R packages, number 69, I got this little data folder and I got a Walmart, uh, a little CSV of sales data. So I can pull that sales data in 
the financial data in just this easily. Up oh, here, I need to correct this. There we go. And it, just like that, it pulls that sales data in. And I've got all my sales information. So read R, it allows you to read and import data. All right, the seventh one is tidy models. This one, if you're interested in becoming a data scientist, this is one you definitely need to be aware of. So tidy models is another meta package. It pulls in a lot of other packages that allow us to do modeling or prediction. So let's check this out. We're gonna make a little data set here called marketing spend versus sales. And say we wanna see if there's an influence on marketing spend versus sales. Uh, what we can do is quickly create a linear regression model. And this is how we do it. We create, we use the linear regression function. What this does is it creates a specification for a linear model. We set the engine here to LM, control enter, and then we can fit that model. So just like that, we've got the, the fit and it's marketing spend versus an intercept. And if we save that as linear model, then what we can do is then use this predict function and say we have a new data set or we want to know what happens if marketing spend is 4,000. What's our expected sales? And we can get the prediction. We're expected to make $8,000 if we put 4,000 in. And that's just based on our historical marketing spend versus sales. Okay. All right. The eighth one is leaflet. And this is for you geospatial people out there. If you like geospatial data, you're going to love the leaflet library. So let's check this one out. Um, I'm going to make a quick data frame. Actually, let me switch this over to Tibble because we're, we're, we're tidy people. We're going to make Tibble. The reason I like Tibble is because it actually prints this out very nicely. Um, so anyways, the leaflet library, if, my, if I make some data here where I've got a store and some latitudes and longitudes, check this out. With three lines of code, I can quickly make a visualization here and I can see store one is right here store two is over here in LA and we can see how far they are away from each other we can zoom in to see where it's actually located and so on so leaflet is a super powerful library and now I want to uh, talk about some bonuses so my ninth package is actually a bonus because I'm giving you a lot of code here in this one and for an art tip this is uh this took me a little bit to put this one together so I'm, I'm giving you what's called a shiny app so my top art package here is shiny and this is when you talk about things like production when you want to be a data scientist um, this is what you need to learn so let's check this out. This is a shiny app that comes with uh, this this lesson. I'm just going to click this button up here. I opened it up. Um, it's actually right here. I, I'm going to click the run app button and make sure I save my selected. And there we go. We have now a shiny app. And this is the, using that same leaflet package. And now we have some stores in here and each store has uh, some sales values to it. So uh, you can see down here, we've got some sales values to these. And if I filter, the cool thing about uh, this is that we can filter in and hone in on uh, the uh, interactively locate stores based on how much their they've, the revenue they've done with us. Okay, right, so back to my top R packages. Now you've seen the nine that I like the most. Um, especially if you're a beginner, um, even if you're an expert, these are the ones that you know you should be, uh, look to fill in your gaps with. Bonus number two, though, if you want to learn more and if you want to get to know what I can do for you, uh, I have a free masterclass. And what it covers is the top 10 secrets to becoming a six-figure data scientist. It is 40 minutes long and it is jammed with jam-packed with value. What I cover, I cover everything, things that I talked about in here today, but even more and in more depth, things like time series, things like uh, how, how to actually run a data science project, how to use this thing called Shiny uh, that we had talked about even uh, a little bit, but even some of the more advanced stuff that you can do with Shiny. So it's really good. Um, check that out. And that is a free way to learn more with me. Um, I'll put the link in the notes for my free R-Track Masterclass. All right, that's it for today. I will see you soon. Uh, take care and uh, we'll, we'll have another R-Tips newsletter here in a week or so.